Know you're safer with labor. Things are getting better. Less crime, less tax cuts for the people who don't cater. You're safer with labor. Shake hands with your neighbor. On the election day, we vote in red. That is labor. You're safer with labor. Things are getting better. Less crime, less tax cuts for the people who don't cater. You're safer with labor. Shake hands with your neighbor. On the election day, we vote in red. That is labor. Because I'm a magic. Easy squeeze, cut the tax of the crime, fulfill all the prophecies Till the battle in the road and fulfill all the ghetto you see Cause I'm of a strong team Cause I'm of a strong team Yo, you're safe, I would labor Please get to better Less crime, less tax cuts for the people Today is indeed a historic day As we celebrate the opening of the first Antigua and Barbuda Labor Party headquarters the people's place on this the ninth day of december the same day that we celebrate our first chief minister premier prime minister of antigua and barbuda and a national hero the late right honorable veer cornwall bird senior this is indeed a momentous occasion as we all pay homage to an individual who have paved the way for us to be here today we ask for your special blessing upon this building. We ask for your divine covering in the name of Jesus. Lord, we speak your blood on every square foot, the entire perimeter. We ask that you cover this building. You will protect it, Lord, from vandalism. We pray you will protect it from any kind of thieves and robbery. We ask God that you'll even keep it safe from natural disasters. And we pray for those who will operate or will function here. Lord, may everything be done to your honor, to your praise, and for your glory. We commit this building to you in the name of Jesus. Again, we ask for your special blessing. We give you thanks for your goodness, for your provision, the skill, the labor. The finances, we give you thanks, Lord. Hold on to the Labour Party. Hold on, we must save our country. Hold on to the Labour Party. Hold on for our posterity. Hey, no that the bomb. Let the nation flow. Congratulations, the building is now officially open. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please join with me as we give three cheers for the people's place. Hip, hip, hip. Yeah. Hip, hip, hip. Yeah. Hip, hip, hip. Yeah. Take me to the king. I don't have much to bring. My heart's torn. for celebration. Moments ago, we left the VC bird bust, where we celebrated the 111th birthday of Severe Cornwall Bird, nation's foremost hero. Here we are now as a political party, the foremost political organization in this country, opening and etching our names in the annals of history, where for the first time, very first time, Primera Vez, this is, is in Spanish, Primera Vez, a political party is opening a headquarters. There is great symbolism in tonight's activity. It's not only the opening of the doors of a grand edifice, it is cementing legacy of the Antigua and Barbuda Party within the construct of national development. is an indication to generations yet unborn of the work done and the commitment to stay the course as the defender of the people of this country into perpetuity. 
For as long as there's Antigua and Barbuda, there will be an Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party. That is part of the symbolism of what we're here to do tonight. Young people, older people, the entire nation can find this place as it's appropriately styled, the people's place, as the place where they go for solace, the place where they get advice, the place where they get direction, and the place where this country's future will forever be built. That's the commitment we give tonight to the nation of Antigua and Barbuda. That like Severe and the 39ers, to Leicester and the 76ers, Gaston Alphonse Brown and the team of 2014. Place for posterity. Our contributions to the development, socio-economic political development of this country of Antigua and Barbuda. Antigua, Barbuda. Well, it's 700. Yeah, yeah. So sweet, sweet, sweet Antigua. I know we're in no other place. Father, sing on your blessing. Don't do everybody in beautiful Guadalupe. You're more than welcome to visit. Our home, land of so many guests. This land gives you this feeling. 
Today is indeed a momentous occasion, a very proud moment for this great institution, the greatest political institution in this hemisphere. For several decades, we have said to Antiguans and Barbudans, to the people of the region, and the international community, that the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party is easily the greatest political institution in this hemisphere. We've also argued too that the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party is an all-inclusive, egalitarian, all-empowering institution that is catering for the needs of all Antiguans and Barbudans. The Labour Party would have presided over the advancement of the people of Antigua and Barbuda for several decades. However, despite the greatness of this institution, despite the contributions that the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party would have made towards the upliftment of the people of this country, we did not have a place to call home. We've had the aspiration for several decades to construct a party headquarters, an ambition that eluded us for several decades. But today, we gathered here to celebrate the opening and dedication of the People's Place. So as usual, I say to you, let us give thanks. Let us give thanks to the Most High for this achievement. You know, I believe it is Psalm chapter 127, verse 1, that says that unless the Lord builds a house, those who built it labor in vain. This magnificent edifice was obviously built, yes, by human beings, but with the divine intervention of the Lord. And that is why we should give thanks. In fact, this would not have happened without the divine intervention of God. And I say to you that this building is significant in many ways. Not only in terms of its imposing size, but its beauty and elegance. And it's a building that is befitting of the most significant institution in this country today, an institution that has transformed the lives of Antiguans and Barbudans. Many of you would recall that leading up to the leadership race, in 2012, that I pledged to the comrades at that time that one of my priorities would have been the construction of a party headquarters building. And I have here a copy of my manifesto, the Gaston Brown manifesto leading up to the 2012 party convention in which I successfully contested the leadership of this great institution. And I want to quote from page 18 of that manifesto, headed, What will Gaston do for the party and its members? It reads as follows. Gaston Brown promises to reform the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party, to strengthen what is good, eliminate what is bad, and forge new and different ways to enhance the party as a vital tool for Antigua and Barbuda's development. In undertaking such reform, you will engage all stakeholders, to include every constituency branch, the Antigua Trades and Labor Union, the Women's Action Group, the Youth Group, and the elected members of the Executive. The new Antigua and Barbuda Labor Party's governance infrastructure will be strengthened and its culture realigned with the prevailing political realities. Increased emphasis will be placed on honoring and elevating our institutional icons, those who through their blood, sweat, and tears strive to build this country. He will ensure that an appropriate party headquarters is constructed that will symbolize the towering contribution of the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party to the socio-economic development of our beautiful Queen Island states. 
And as we say from time to time, promise made, we do not make idle promises. And you know that my word is my bond. The part itself takes up the northern end of the building upstairs, 20% of it. And there we have our party secretariat, including offices, a conference facility, and other amenities. I should add here too that among the amenities here includes a commercial kitchen. And you will recognize too that we have started a picture museum at the back, outlining all of the officers of this institution, those who would have served as general secretary, those who served as chairman, as political leaders, so that our people, our comrades, our children, our youth, they will have an understanding as to the contributions that were made by various comrades. So in essence, what we're doing here is that we are building a stronger institution. And we believe that strong political institutions make for strong performing governments. It's not a coincidence that our government would have performed extremely well during the last six years, even during this period of COVID. I would say that our performance has been exemplary. During our first five years in government, we grew the country's economy by 1.8 billion EC dollars, increasing the collective wealth of the people from $3.2 billion up to $5 billion. And for you to place this in context, $1.8 billion in value represents about 80% of the economy of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. That is the extent of the performance that we would have literally presided over during the past five years. And we had said to the people of Antigua and Barbuda while in opposition that we would have transformed Antigua and Barbuda into an economic powerhouse in the Caribbean. And they scoffed at the idea, not recognizing the level of competence, the level of innovation, and certainly creativity within this great institution, and even the entrepreneurship within our government that obviously would have created superior value compared to others within the region. Again, this institution obviously would have had some sustaining values, values of competence, performance, value of integrity, and resilience for sure. And resilience is one of the most significant values that is actually enshrined in the ethos of this great institution. Our father of the nation, Sevier Cornwall Bird Sr., is easily the most resilient politician, parliamentarian, minister, prime minister this country has ever seen. He actually presided over the leadership of this country for 50 years. And even though at one point he was booted out of office, he had the tenacity, the resilience, to stick to it and to make a spectacular return in 76, 1976 and serve for approximately another 25 years, making him easily the greatest leader this country has ever seen and will see for a very long time. A transcendent leader, someone whose performance evidently ranks above all, head and shoulder above all others, above all of our other national heroes. Today, as we face the COVID pandemic, I say to all of us as comrades that we have an opportunity to become heroes in our own right. Not national heroes, not transcendent heroes, but certainly heroes in order to rescue this country from the ravaging effects of COVID-19. The facilities here should be kept pristine, not only for our use, but for future generations. So I ask you to respect the facilities, to use them responsibly, and at the same time, to help us to ensure that this facility remains a shining beacon for all. Even if we run just go and get some. Keep the action saying Going till morning. I let the romance in. We drinking and dancing. 
Can't stop this party Labor party 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 Watch them Oh Lord Party, can't stop this party. Labor party, can't stop this party. Labor party, can't stop this party. Come red team, let me see a photo. Can't stop this party. Labor party, can't stop this party. Watch them. I work me a work. Hey. Labor party, here we go, don't stop this party. Labor party. Upgrade, wave your call line.